So, what exactly is a streaming platform? What are typical use cases? What components form the streaming platform? And what are the biggest benefits? In this video, you will learn all about it. When you hear people talk about this for the first time, the first thing that comes into mind is something like Spotify or Netflix. When we talk about a streaming platform, it's not quite that. For the sake of simplicity, let's just explain the term streaming and platform one by one. Let's zoom in on your organization. You might be servicing thousands of customers with digital tools or processes, or you own an even bigger amount of assets, which you need to keep an eye on. Your customers, assets or products are not static, neither is your organization. They generate data around the clock. Status updates, business events, order changes or sensor readings. It never stops. This continuous flow of business data we call streaming data. The platform is the central IT facility in your organization, which responsibility is to make the streaming data available 24-7. Of course, this platform needs to be accessible by all parties, whether they are producing the data or consuming the data to set in motion business processes. So, what are the elements which form a streaming platform? Let's zoom in a bit. The streaming platform typically is composed of the following key components. Client libraries, message broker, metadata catalog and adapters. The first one is client libraries. The key in getting value from a streaming platform are its capabilities to connect client apps. Since the producing and consuming apps support different technologies or programming languages like Java, .NET, REST or MQTT, streaming platforms have support for those as well. The second component is the message broker. The responsibility of the message broker is to accept data from the producers and make this data available to all subscribed consumers. To increase availability and fault tolerance, production deployments of a streaming platform have multiple message brokers. The third component is the metadata catalog. Streaming data is flowing through the platform in many forms. A metadata catalog helps to maintain and share valuable descriptive information about this data. Moreover, it helps to detect and protect against data incompatibilities. The last one is adapters. Almost every streaming platform out there supports a way to hook up another platform or database, because in those systems valuable data is generated as well. Configuring adapters is more straightforward than compiling and deploying an application, and saves a lot of time. So, now that you know more about the components of a streaming platform, let's talk about the benefits of using one in your organization. First of all, you have a better reuse of data, as it is available centrally. Secondly, Applications producing data are decoupled from the consuming ones, which increases the velocity of handling data. Producers don't have to wait for consumers, and consumers can consume at their own pace. In this short video, you've learned what a streaming platform is and when it is used. You've learned about the key components that form the platform, and you know about the benefits for your organization. To learn more about real-time data streaming, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the button in the bottom right. If you still have questions, please let us know in the comments section or use the contact form on our website. You will find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching!